Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, I get an awful lot of requests for things uh, that you would like me to make. And one of the things that has caused quite an uproar is this little teddy bear right here. You know, he has a little sleeping mask and he has a pillow and he has a blanket. But many of you, including Kylie, have asked me for a sleeping bag. And so Teddy, guess what? You're going camping. I'm gonna show you how to make a sleeping bag for Teddy. So to make Teddy's sleeping bag, we're gonna need some duct tape fabric, and I'm gonna show you how to make that the right size in just a second. You're gonna need some extra duct tape, and you're gonna need a pair of scissors. That's really all that you need. Now, if you want to, if you've got like newspaper or like long sheets of, of like any kind of paper, wrapping paper, whatever, any kind of paper that you wanna use instead of uh, the duct tape, making the duct tape fabric really big, um, you can do that. The main thing here is to figure out the size for Teddy. And I've already made my fabric here, but the way I determined the size was I laid little Teddy down with his little neck right about there. And then I squished his little legs down, right? And then I gave him a flip over like that. And when I gave him a flip over, I scooched him forward about four inches, because I want to make sure that there's plenty of room here. So I started with him here, flipped him over, scooched him forward about four inches. Do you see that? Okay. Now, to get the width, that's how long you want to make it. So to get the width, what I did is I just basically laid Teddy down and put his arms by his side there. And you figure to add about an inch on either side. And the reason that you add an inch on either, either side is because Teddy is rather chubby and you are gonna want the bag to be able to expand. So lay your doll or toy down. Make sure that you go from the widest part of their body and then give it an extra inch on either side. So basically you wanna do two times the length of your, your stuffed animal and then whatever the width is plus one inch on either side. And now, what we're basically gonna do is just make a sack. Now, I wanna make a little fancy edge here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take pretty tape here. I've got this zebra. I'm gonna measure right across the top here. And I'm only gonna seal these ends with a strip of one inch tape. So I'm gonna take this in the middle, rip it straight down. And I'm gonna take that good edge, that clean edge, that's gonna go on the outside. And I'm gonna put half of it on my duct tape fabric here. You can see here, half of it's hanging off. This is the sticky side. I'm just gonna fold this sticky side over. Like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Again, the nice clean side, that goes up. And fold it over. And now I'm just gonna close this by folding it in half. And I'm gonna seal the sides, one side and two sides, with again, tape. Now I'm gonna make this a little teeny bit longer, not much, and I'm gonna rip this in half again, like that. So now this part, I'm gonna line up my edges, and I'm gonna lay this edge right at the edge of the sleeping bag there. Just fold it down, flip it over, and flip this over. And see this little bit of extra? Don't worry about that because that's just gonna get trimmed off. And then if there's any little extras up here, you can just fold those over. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side. I'm gonna use the clean, clean edge. Place it right against the side here. Again, remember I'm only putting half of the tape on to the duct tape fabric here. So half here, half sticky hanging over so that I can fold it over like that. Seal the ends. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and snip right across the bottom there. Get rid of that little extra. And snip right across the bottom. Get rid of that extra. And now I have a little pouch for Teddy. Now I'm gonna check inside to see if there's much of an edge. If I see that there's a lot of an edge, like a sticky edge, if you see that there's a sticky edge, 
Then what you can do is take another piece of tape, about that length. Again, you don't need much. You can rip this in half. In fact, you can actually, if you wanted to, rip it in half again, but do it in half here. And then you just do this inside here. It's a little hard to show the camera, so I'm going to do it in little pieces. But if you're not doing it on camera, you should be able to do this in one big piece. But see how I'm just laying that inside there? And that's to cover any stickiness. And that's so that Teddy doesn't stick to his sack. See that? And you would just do that all the way down on that side and all the way down on this side. And now I just want to make sure that this fits for Teddy. So Teddy, come on over. And whoop, there he goes. He fits beautifully. Oh, and he can even tuck his little arms in if he wants to. Like that. Oh, and of course, I had to make Teddy a matching eye shade. There we go. Oh, Teddy doesn't like his arms inside. Oh. <sighs> Sleepy Teddy. And there you have it. Teddy is ready for the great outdoors. But you know, he is a bit of a spoiled bear, and so he still has his matching sleeping eye mask. <sighs> this bear. For more ideas on sleepwear for Teddy, come and check us out at Sophie Dash World. <sighs>